I kind of started a novella. Uh, yeah, my poem got accepted. Mr. Brambles, are you comfy? And it went on and on for paragraphs how most people listen to music, but not my character. My character sees music. And I went on to describe like how he sees music. And then I was just reading this. I was reading this and I was like, literally no one cares. Like no one cares. Like <laughs> I don't even care reading this. This kitty has been needy all day. Needy all day. And this is the perfect time for me to, oh, oh my God. For me to snip his clawsies. He has no idea what's coming for him. We have another kitty here. He's sleeping and it's raining after last week's climate change fiasco. I heard the rain's supposed to help with all the smog, so happy Monday. By the way, Bramble is here. Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. I am mostly a science fiction writer, sometimes also fantasy. I'm also a freelance book editor. Welcome back to another writing vlog. So the purposes of these writing vlogs, specifically for the month of June, is to keep myself accountable. I have, or I had, or I am having a lot of deadlines. So the biggest deadline right now for me is the last day of June, which is the day I should wrap up my second draft edits because I'm going on a writing retreat that following weekend or the weekend after. It doesn't matter. The point is, <laughs> this writing retreat is with Maggie Steve Otter, who you guys may know as the author of the Raven Boy series and the Shiver series. And this writing retreat is more so like, I would say like a writing workshop almost because I think Magus Newbotter will be reading my book and I'm pretty sure the other cohort members will be reading my book as well and giving feedback. So anyway, part of the homework for this writing retreat is to bring my most updated draft to the retreat for people, I believe, to critique. Okay, the sun just came out. I think the lighting is changing. Anyway, I had wanted to bring Act 1, like the revisioned the revised act one, but I realized like last week that I wasn't able to edit all of act one by the last day of June. So now I'm hoping to edit at least the first four chapters, which might not sound like a lot, but it's messy, it's messy. So yeah, I have that deadline and I actually had a deadline for a proofreading client today. I finished it early, so I sent it off yesterday, but I am emailing back and forth between several potential clients. So if I um, go further with them, I might have to do some sample edits, which I tend to have fast turnaround times for those, or at least I want to, they're usually like two or three days. So I might get some of those. And I am the online editor for Augur Magazine, which is a Canadian magazine that publishes dreamy science fiction and fantasy. And cool news on the Augur front is that I've kind of been not really promoted because we're not, we're completely volunteer only, but I've been asked to do second reading. So initially I was doing first reading or slush reading, meaning that I would read the unsolicited submissions and rate them. I was like the first pass, but now I was asked or invited to be part of the second reader, which is that the second readers will judge whether those rated pieces, those first reader rated, rated pieces are accurate. So for example, if someone rated it a lower number, I could refute that and I could bring it back up. I guess I'm more senior now, so I know what can be saved if it's not well rated and what can be unfortunately rejected if that was the correct rating. So I have some of that uh, auger work to do. Okay, so let's just get into the goals for this week. So my goal for this week is to mostly just finish chapter one. I want to finish revising chapter one. I started it a bit this weekend or last weekend and the structure is good, but the writing is horrible. I work out of order, so I'm planning on setting the first four chapters, sorry, the first three chapters to the retreat, including the prologue, so it's kind of like four. I finished chapter three already, so now I'm gonna do one, and after I do chapter one, I'm gonna do the prologue, and after the prologue, I'm gonna do chapter two, I think, or I might just do two after this. Anyway, the point is, the structure of chapter one is pretty good. I read it, and I was like, okay, okay, but then the writing was so bad. I'm essentially doing a whole complete 
not necessarily rewriting, but just a huge line editing overhaul because it's reading so terrible right now. You would not think that I ever had anything published. Yeah, it's bad. Um, but I guess what I mostly really wanted to say was that I kind of started a novella. <laughs> I was saying in my last video that I felt behind on my writing goals and I just wanted to. So I wrote the first page, okay, it's just the first page of the first 250 words and I had so much fun. I had this idea, um, I think in February, at first I thought it was a novel idea, but the more I thought about it, the more it was a novella idea. And what's really interesting that I want to share to everyone is that this is the first time in my whole life, my whole writing career life, in which I'm writing a project that <laughs> I have no intentions for like everything I've written up to this point in my life there has been like a message I wanted to shout out to the world for example in Mia um, there are two to three important themes that I want to share like I want to shout to the world I've been saying Euphoria is me in a book and if you guys remember June uh, from like two or three years ago I wrote June and there are some themes and some satirical elements I wanted to, you know, share. Like, I feel like everything I've written, all the short fiction, all the poetry, there has been some sort of like reasoning for why I wanted to write this. It was like some thesis. But with this novella, I really have like none of that. I feel like this novella, I'm really just exploring a bunch of different things and I'm having fun with it. It is, well, it is science fiction. So I'm playing with different uh, science fiction elements. I feel like this novella is a very, I don't know the word is, just like exploratory, like I'm exploring things. I feel like in this current state of our world, we've never been so conflicted. I feel like everything has, someone has an opinion about like everything and the opinions are very contrasting. And I feel like I'm kind of playing with that. I don't know, I wrote the first page and I was like, oh my god, this is so much fun, I don't want to write Mia. <laughs> Which Mia is my YA fantasy novel that I didn't say it was a YA fantasy, right? Ugh, how do I, f I don't, I'm having trouble thinking today. I don't know, my brain is just, I hate Mondays. I hate Mondays so much. Toronto summers mean that it's 9 p.m. and it's still bright outside. Hey, crew baby. Oh! <laughs> Why do you hate me? Do I like this hairstyle? I don't know, but we'll leave it for now. I have some, I don't know. I'm gonna throw up, like I can't do this. Uh, the editors for one of the magazines that my piece is on hold for just tweeted out I won't read it out loud. I can't but I'll put the screenshot up here. It's actually up there as well. I'm so I, I was trying not to think about it and I think I was doing a good job because I even talked about it in the clip yesterday um, So I'm trying not to think about it, but like I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't check Twitter but I want to know like I want to know I'm trying not to be hopeful okay I'm trying not to but it's hard to not because I am that kind of person I have another hold with another magazine like I don't know they didn't they don't like live update like this which maybe that's the way I prefer things because like now I'm like oh my god at this point it's kind of all luck because there are so many things that factor into how a piece gets selected. Like I would know I'm part of that process for Augur. Let's say my piece is like cozy eco-fiction. What did they say exactly? Yeah, cozy eco-futures. Um, so let's say like on their short list, they had like 10, sorry, that's too many. Let's say they have like three cozy eco-fiction stories. Are they going to publish all three? How, what's the balance they want to strike between this and like an eat the rich story or a dreamy, what did they say? Dreamy post-apocalyptic? Dreamlike post-apocalyptics. So that's out of my control. Like I have no idea how they want to curate this magazine. And also another important note here is word count. Budget doesn't move, right? Um, so would they rather publish one 46,000 word story or are they do they prefer to publish two 2300 word stories? So I have a 2300 word story. I think it's 2300 or is it 26? I can't remember, but I think it's 23. And like that's 
and that's something I can control. So I don't think I was very clear on what I worked on yesterday. Uh, yesterday was an auger night. I try to make Monday nights like my auger nights because I usually do have auger meetings on Monday. So I try to keep that cadence and like do auger stuff on Monday. So yesterday I went through the second reading process and I think I'm gonna do all that on the weekend because I want to take like literally the whole weekend to like read through everyone's notes. Um, and I need to like, I want to fully immerse myself in it because I'm going to rescue something like I need to put into words why I'm rescuing it or if I am unfortunately rejecting it because I got, I got the power of rejection. <laughs> so I want to make sure like I'm very thorough and um, if you know me um, or maybe if you don't, I like to work in momentum. I can't just like do one thing for like 30 minutes and do another thing for 30 minutes. Like my brain doesn't work like that. I need to like submerge myself in the work and i kind of just want to do that on the weekend just like get like a hundred stories rejected or passed on or to rescue so yeah i'm really excited about that and i updated the auger website uh we got so many new members and it was really fun to um just like get to know everyone it, it's kind of it's not really creepy but it's kind of creepy because like i was putting in everyone's like social medias and i was like not really creeping them but i wanted to make sure the links were working so like i checked up on them and our team is just so amazing i'm really grateful to be working with the team every day everyone's so smart everyone's so successful i think they're so successful i think our team is full of like really great writers and i can't wait to like i don't know what i can't wait for i just i just I'm excited to be at Augur every day. How much time do I have? I have an hour left-ish before I have to sign on for work. It's about 8. Um, I'm going to probably edit this clip and the coffee clips because apparently everyone loves coffee montages. And I have to send an invoice and a contract that I need to touch up. So I think that will take me until work starts. And then tonight I want to work on Mia. Gotta get that chapter one fixed because it's so bad. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm going into the office. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna look like, but that's the plan for now. I didn't think I'd be vlogging again today, but I am like three seconds away <laughs> from shelving this book. I feel like I can't save it. I can't save it. The writing is just too bad. <sighs> Okay, maybe I'm just like freaking out. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So I'll, I'll try, I'll try. A very common early writing mistake I made in my career, can I even call it career, is to write a bunch of description at the front and not grounding the readers. And I didn't know I was doing this actually until I made a YouTube video where I asked you guys to critique my writing. And many, many, many of you guys pointed out that I was pretty much describing things. Like I was just describing because I, love describing okay i am like i have the opposite problem of what most writers have most writers don't like describing i can describe for like days and i don't ground the readers or, or i haven't I, I didn't um so i don't do that anymore with my new stuff like i always put the readers right into the action and if i am describing it doesn't go on for like pages not pages but like paragraphs and i felt like i was doing that with this chapter and it would make sense I was doing it with this chapter because I wrote this chapter like a million jillion years ago where I didn't I feel like my craft has improved tremendously since I wrote that last chapter like when I wrote that first chapter sorry first chapter when I wrote that first chapter I had never I had I had nothing published I wasn't submitting to magazines I wasn't even doing auger like that was how long ago I wrote this first chapter so I ended up moving all that description like way further down, but like, oh my god, I just like, I don't know. I don't know what about this book that's like so difficult to write. Uh, so I took a break because I was, I was getting like really frustrated at myself and I don't know if I need to actually completely rewrite it. Like this is not even just a line edit anymore. Like I wonder if I need to completely, like just completely write it again. Like. I don't know like i did say the structure was good so i did like the structure but something about this is messed up <laughs> <laughs> okay i really did expect to vlog again i like worked out i'm super sweaty uh yeah my poem got accepted oh my god i feel like i'm gonna cry i waited so long <laughs> waited like 50 days oh my god what a whirlwind of a day i mean i i kind of feel like because i got this i'm not gonna get the other one i feel like i don't know if you have this i feel like god if god exists or some greater being i always feel like they are 
playing with me. Like, hey, you have three things you want. You can only choose two. Honestly, I love this one. I love this poem so much. Every time I read that ending, I'm like, oh god, this is so good. This is too good. Oh my god. I like, my eyes literally skimmed. I thought I was gonna get rejected. Like, I always think I'm gonna get rejected. My eyes skimmed to the last line and it said, we're so excited to work with you. And I was like, oh my god. I am curious though if we can um, um, see my status. Oh yeah, okay. It took 49 days to respond. Yeah, I submitted this back in April 25th. Seriously, it's 9.02 and look how bright it is outside. I, I, don't, I can't believe this. Mr. Brambles, are you comfy? need to cut my hair like look at this this needs to be like here do you want to hear something funny that's not that funny but um <laughs> i did a quick demo at work and pretty much i just recorded my screen and like walked the user through the different screens and the feature and i talked about it and then the ceo commented on the video and he was like you have a very nice sounding voice like it's very natural it's very smooth and I was just thinking to myself, YouTube transferable skills. I never thought this would come in clutch. I don't even know if that was funny. Um, I'm stressed out. I'm super stressed out because uh, I just have like so much to do and there's just like no time. I'm, I feel like I'm being squeezed. I'm being wrung dry right now. I didn't do anything yesterday because I went to the office. I didn't wake up early to account for like the commuting time like I didn't wake up early to do stuff plus have the room to commute as part of that time if that makes sense I actually did a really incredible bar workout I was so refreshed I felt so good it was only 10 minutes I highly recommend it even if you are not a working out person there's like um, low impact movements that you can follow anyway I followed that instructor it was just on YouTube that I watched I followed that instructor on Instagram and she like liked my photos it was very cool very cool anyway I did that in the morning and it was a great way to start the day but I only worked out in the morning because my boyfriend came over last night we cooked and we planned out a bunch of our vacations we have so many trips coming up and quick update here am I crooked is this better? Did I make it worse? I will not be posting a weekly writing vlog next week because I'm going out of town. My boyfriend's birthday is next week, so we're going somewhere pretty far north in Ontario. So there won't be a lot of good, like there won't be good Wi-Fi, so I can't upload and I'll, the vlog will be cut short because I'm leaving here Thursday. You're just gonna get a regular writing vlog, um, nighttime writing vlog style. And um, what else? Yeah, we're also going to Scotland in like two weeks and I'm not ready. I'm not even talking about the writing portion, just in general, I'm not ready. And we're going to Korea in September and there's so much planning that we needed to do for Korea. Still, we're not even done yet. This morning, I did start on my sample edit. I was, I think I mentioned on Monday, I might be getting some sample edits, so I started that. Um, this morning and I'm planning on finishing it up tonight so I can send it off tomorrow For me, I try to get out the samples as fast as I can as I mentioned on Monday because they're like a lead, right? You don't want to lose a client. You don't want to lose a lead. So I'm trying to do that So no writing and I also have like a thousand auger things to do that I haven't done Like I haven't started a second reading yet. Like I mentioned, I'll do that this weekend But I didn't finish the uploads because our next issue is coming out super, super soon, I'm also in charge of uploading excerpts. Each piece, not each piece, some pieces get excerpts um, that are put on the website, so you'll get to read an excerpt of Chris's story, Chris and Meth, and uh, my author is also having an excerpt on their website, so I gotta put that together. And we haven't even talked about the writing yet. I haven't even talked about the actual writing. I've decided that I'm not going to send or not, I'm not going to bring the prologue to the writing retreat because it's not ready and I really don't feel comfortable people critiquing something that's not ready because at that point like I'm wasting their time. Um, I truly believe and this is from like an editorial perspective as well is that you have to take your 
self edits like as far as you can before you get someone else's opinion because it just doesn't make sense. I'll, I'll probably go into this in more detail. I actually can't really think right now because I'm like stressed out. Also, I got like a new pimple here and I don't usually get pimples. So I don't feel comfortable as someone critiquing my stuff if I know it's not ready, if I know there's gonna be like a lot of changes to make. I just don't feel comfortable um, if I can't get to it. So I don't know why I started on chapter three. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring like one, two, and three now to the writing retreat. Um, so I officially got in my critique partners, the critique partners from the trip. They're gonna be reading it, so it's just like becoming real, like I can't bring a half-baked manuscript to be critiqued, like that's just not useful for any of us. So I'm still on chapter one, chapter one's taking forever, I changed it a lot actually. The structure is still there, it's like, it's very weird, I can't explain it, like the structure is still there, but I am rewriting it. Uh, so the same events are still following, but the way I'm expressing that is different, I guess. And I think I'm going to reiterate what I said, or not reiterate, but to clarify what I said the other day, how I tend to write a lot of description in the beginning of a chapter or at the beginning of a book or etc. I don't necessarily think it's like description is, like description is too vague. Cause I think if you're describing a setting that's good enough to ground a reader, the reader will know like where they are. What I'm really good at, which I stopped being good at, cause I don't want to be good at it anymore. I used to be very good at describing like feeling. I can describe a feeling for pages and pages before we actually get to where the character is on the page and what they're doing. So I found that I was doing that for chapter one. So um, just to share with you guys, the first line in chapter one in the original draft was, most people listen to music. And it went on and on for paragraphs how most people listen to music, but not my character. My character sees music and I went on to describe like how he sees music and then I was just reading this I was just reading this and I was like literally no one cares like no one cares like <laughs> I don't even care reading this I was like where are we what's going on I I'm not like when you just describe emotion like that or maybe I'm not a good writer like but when you just describe emotion like that it's very hard for the readers to like feel any grounding to the character or any con real connection to the character because you're kind of just describing this feeling. Anyway, I rewrote the whole opening scene and I think the first line is something like, the answer is always e fleurs, ale? <laughs> but River doesn't remember ordering it or ordering something. It's something like that. I, I'm, not, I'm, not a I'm not in love with that first line. Um, I like the first part. I don't know if ordering is the right word in this context, um, so I still need to play around with it. But yeah, we're gonna do chapter one sometime, sometime this freaking lifetime, and then chapter two, and then I'm just gonna, that's just gonna be it. We'll see if I still want to work on the book after I come back from the writing retreat. Um, I have a feeling the answer is no, <laughs> just because I miss writing short fiction, I miss writing poetry, and speaking of poetry, I signed my contract, so I can officially say it, I'm being published by Heartline Spec, my poem is called As A, I Want To, So I Can, if you are in tech, you'll know what that means, I love this poem so much, I think I like it more than sale mail, and my partner liked it as well, and he usually does not like the poetry. Not in particular the poetry I write, just like in general he's not a fan of poetry, but he read it and he actually liked that. So I was, I'm really happy about this poem. I am so excited to see what um, the edits of this piece will be. And yeah, every time I read that last stanza, that last stanza though, hits me in the feels. <laughs> and I'm the one who wrote it! So yeah, this is the cover, I'll put it up here. And once I find out more details, I will let you know. For now, it's not being announced yet um, because they told me, like the editors told me they won't do all the promotional stuff until every author sends them their contracts. So I'm still waiting. And another PSA, uh, because I have to do this PSA, you should always be paid for your contributions. I submitted it, again, no submission fees. I submitted it and I got paid. This is your constant reminder that you should always get paid. All right, I talked way too long. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the sample edit tonight and hopefully tomorrow we can do chapter one, a mix of chapter one and a mix of auger work.
morning. It's 8.30, it's Friday. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog now just because I have a lot to do and this will just be one less thing I have to do and we can kickstart the whole post-production process and the editing process. All right, so I just sent over the sample edit and I'm really hoping <laughs> the client books with me. I thought the story was so rich. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I feel like I'm personally really enjoying it, but of course that's not up to me whether or not they want to book with me. So that's like one overall theme that I hope I'm trying to get across clear in this video or in my life is that I want to stop being so anxious over things I can't control. Like I did the best sample edit I could. If they didn't like it, then, then, then so be it, right? Oh yeah, and speaking of more of these like can't control stuff, like <sighs> no, I didn't hear back from the other short short story, the magazine. I found out something really cool though. Heartline Spec already started their promotions, so I was looking through like the other writers um, that were part of the issue in our table of contents, and there's this one poet <laughs> who also has a poem in Shoreline, uh, so I didn't really say it in this vlog. Um, my piece on hold is with Shoreline of Infinity. They already started announcing some of the contributors for that issue, and yeah, one of the guys who has an issue in Shoreline also has an issue in Heartline Spec, and could you imagine the two of us sharing another TOC together. Now I'm like, oh man, like this is, this is a sign. This is a sign, right? But it's probably not gonna happen. So I just wanna like take this moment to appreciate um, that I was able to get, I look naked. I was able to get the story. Um, like the, I, I'm grateful the story was like made it as a hold. Honestly, um, I really, I really love this story a lot. It was one of my first short fiction that I've written seriously and it's this is its third time trying to find a home and what else ah uh, I just I just like it a lot was my hair like this the whole time oh my god it's because of these freaking glasses now I'm blinking yeah so if you do want to support the kickstarter for the shoreline infinity issue I'll link it down below I'm not in the issue so up to you whether or not you want to um, contribute. I think that it's great. <laughs> um, I'm sure all the stories are amazing. It's like sci science fiction, it's climate change, it's integrating the two of them together. Oh my god, this is why I don't like wearing my glasses. It just like breaks my hair, it doesn't sit properly on my face, and it squishes everything. In terms of like writing my novel, I haven't written my novel since <laughs> Tuesday, which is not the best, but um, I'm gonna try to work on it this weekend. So tonight I'm actually going to my partner's place. Um, I'm hoping to get some writing done, but I have a few client emails I just got that I need to respond to. So I think I'll do that like right now actually. But anyway, there's just like little tiny things and then we'll get to writing and then this weekend I'm gonna focus on auger stuff. I think that's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for sticking it out all the way through until the end of this video. My writing vlogs are so chunky now. They're like 30 minutes long. I don't know how this happened. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. And again, no weekly vlog next week. I'll just have a regular vlog. So yeah, um, see you in the next video.